Hey guys, Jimbo here. Well, I was definitely right in the last video. I definitely got something. So, one more review before I call it quits for this week. However, much like that Echo, I realized that I've had this big 066 for a while, so fuck it, why not? I'll go ahead and do a review on it, especially since I've had it many months and there have been quite a few people that watch my channel to see how this saw does. Especially since apart from the hiatus that that we had on this channel for the wood cutting stuff, all you've ever really seen with this thing is it cutting wood at the wood piles and whatnot. So far, just like the CS590, I have nothing negative to report with this thing. Of course, at the same time, I don't know if that's because it's just so well built, because let's face it, in my personal opinion, the 066 steel is one of the best chainsaws ever made, especially for its size. But uh, this thing has just been absolutely phenomenal. You know, the few times that I have used it is usually for really, really big cuts, and at the wood pile, we've had quite a few of those. Uh, having a big saw like this is like having a pistol, in my opinion. Better to have it and never need it. Starting off with when I bought it, um, around the time that I bought this thing, I had just... <coughs> sorry. I had just traded off my G660 Pro Holzforma to the last guy that I used to cut wood for, not the current guy that I cut wood for. Uh, Never should have traded it off, especially considering that he put the damn thing up for sale in less than two weeks after I traded it to him, after he swore up and down and he wouldn't do it. He gave me a good trade for it, but at the same time, I was still without a bigger saw, and I was able to flip the saws that he traded me for some good amount of money, plus the money that I already had, and I was checking eBay, and I happened to find this bad boy right here. He was selling this one and a few others. And I also noticed that he was local to me. So we, I got a message correspondence starting with him. We agreed to meet up someplace. And he gave me a hell of a deal for this thing. In fact, surprisingly enough, even though this is the big bore saw, the big bore version of this, the highway big bore, I actually paid less for this than I did by 562 XP, which is quite shocking and kind of funny. The bar is the only thing it did not come with, so I had to buy that shortly after buying this saw. But as usual, the shop that I go to gives me one hell of a deal for the bars, especially since I go there so much. It's upside down right now because I just put a freshly sharpened chain on it. A 25 inch 84 driver chain for that bar. The best part about the good deal that the guy gave me price wise, he also put a Highway 99cc big bore, a pop up piston with cable rings, and as you can see, he also put a little dual port buffler, or at least I think he did. They, I, they use sometimes they came with it from the factory. And frankly, I can't thank the guy enough, not only for the good deal, but also for the good chainsaw, because this thing has been, as I just said earlier, it's been phenomenal. It has great power. It performs great in the wood. I've removed the muffler to check and see inside, and it seems like Highway got everything right with this one, or the guy who put it on corrected everything. But whatever the case is, it has been just a phenomenal chainsaw. And as you guys notice up there, no decompression valve, 180 pounds of compression. <laughs> this is a bad saw, guys. This ain't no Fruity Boy saw. This is a man saw. <laughs> oh, God, the sickness has me sounded like a fucking backwards. <laughs> But yeah, guys, it, it, it's, you get what I'm saying. It has been a great chainsaw. So I'll go ahead and show you the features of it, the things that it has, all the nitty-gritty and such. You have your chain oil tank just underneath the muffler, which, as you guys remember in my recent video, this is the first cap that was replaced because it was pretty badly leaking. You've got your chain brake up here very helpful with starting such a big engine you also have the next cap that was replaced the fuel cap 
and uh, this one, as I've said in my previous video, actually took the saw out of commission because it was really leaking that badly. Uh, turning the saw around, you have the master control, and it is one of the red levers, which indicates early bottles. You have off, that's run, all the way down is choke, up is high idle, run, and again off. Underneath here is your air filter. Alright, let me get the camera off and I'll get this thing t taken off and show you underneath. Alright, we got that uh, back filter and everything off and as you can see, mostly clean. A little bit of grease around the edges where the filter meets the intake and everything and it seems to have done pretty good. We have the air filter cover on the inside, little rubber grommet goes right there on the filter hole screw for added measure and then we have the air filter not as dirty as I thought it would be I thought I would end up having to clean it but uh, I guess I cleaned it recently I don't know so much has happened in the past couple months it's a it's a bit of a blur right now yeah that's not quite as dirty as I thought it would be but look at that that's from that uh <laughs> that's from the eucalyptus yeah, that's uh, that eucalyptus, that last w big piece of wood in the in the last video that this thing cut. Not only was that thick, not only was that really really hard wood, but the chain was dull. And when you try to cut hard wood with pretty much any chainsaw, you ain't gonna go anywhere. So, give me a couple minutes. I'll put this baby back together, and I'll show you the other features. You have your throttle and operator presence lever. Up here you have your red light. Yes, this is one of the rare red light models. And yes, the guy I bought it from did include the red light coil with it. I just haven't put it on yet. I'm keeping it as a spare in case I need it. You have the carburetor adjustments just below it, which I haven't had to do very much, if any, adjustment to. You've got your chip deflector, which is mainly for this cover here. I put this cover on for the month of October, since October is my favorite month of the year. You got those badass double dogs on there. And your chain tensioner in there. Just loosen those two bar nuts and it's that screw right in there. And there's that serial number for anybody that wants to see proof that it's OEM. You'll typically find the serial number on these steel saws and clones right here next to the buffler. A style like this indicates real steel slash OEM whereas on an aftermarket saw or Chinese clone steel saw you will typically have a serial number style like this sometimes no serial number at all just something to be aware of when you're buying clones or real steel saws you know something to be aware of so you don't get scammed it's basically your standard chain professional chainsaw Nothing overly special like the ones today, especially like the uh, 661, no auto-tune on that carb. This is just the classic flathead screwdriver carburetor. And of course here is the original cover that I bought it with on the right. It did originally have the outer dogs on it, but considering that I had the clutch cover left over from the uh, G660 Pro, the carbon dipped clutch cover, I went ahead and took the dog off that one and put it on that one and like I mentioned a moment ago I'm keeping the carbon fiber dip one on for the month of October and then when October's passed I'll go ahead and put this one back on I have nothing against double dogs it's just that in my opinion I think this my 066 looks a little bit better without that outer dog you know when it's not <laughs> spooky season I guess you could say apart from all that guys I don't know what more could be said about this thing uh, did I say it's been a phenomenal, damn good chainsaw with all those upgrades and everything? Well, I'll say it again. This has been a damn good chainsaw with that 99cc big bore, pop-up piston, caber rings, advanced timing, which I forgot to mention earlier. It, it, it just, I'm very happy with this purchase. It was well worth the 900 that I paid. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not going to run this bad boy right now because it's just has a lot of compression and uh, when I'm sick it's not a good idea for me to be using machinery so uh, thank you all for watching guys hopefully see you in the next one whenever that may be and like I said in the last video stay tuned for the haunted house chainsaw scares 2023 season video coming in early 
to mid-November. Thank you all for watching and take care.